Well, hello there, Shane. I'm Dr. Dan. Seems like that knee's been through the ringer with all that running you've been doing, huh? Yeah, Doc, I might have overdone it a bit. No worries, my friend. I've got just the prescription for you. It's an eight-week prescription for total bed rest. Eight weeks? Just lying in bed? Yes, indeed. It's the surefire way to prevent any future injuries. But won't my muscles weaken, and won't I be more prone to injury after laying in bed for eight weeks? Not at all. Bed rest is great. I'm doing it right now. When did you lay down? Don't worry, my boy. I've been bed resting for years, and look at me. I'm in peak physical condition. Okay, Doc. I'll uh, think about it. rest, the sweet, sweet word that instantly evokes images of fluffy pillows and cozy blankets. But here's the thing. What if I told you that science says that rest might not be your best friend, especially when you're injured and striving for a speedy recovery? Rest is undoubtedly important. It's the proverbial pit stop during a Grand Prix race. However, here's the kicker. Total rest doesn't always help us bounce back faster than active rest. In fact, according to this study, acute low back pain has been shown to respond much better to normal activity than to bed rest. Achilles tendon ruptures have been shown to heal faster with early mobilization after surgery. And even early mobilization after hip surgery accelerates recovery. This is precisely why therapeutic exercises such as mobilizations, strength and endurance training, and others, are integral components of a comprehensive rehabilitation program. They play a vital role in facilitating recovery and achieving optimal outcomes. Does this mean to say there's no rest for the wounded? Of course not. A degree of rest, sometimes even complete rest for short periods, can be helpful. But as the studies show, the real magic is an active mindful recovery. When we rest, it's important to recognize that we're not just idly lounging around. During periods of total rest, our bodies are experiencing a disheartening loss of tissue capacity and an overall decline in tolerance for physical activities. It's as if our muscles are going through a going out of business sale and we end up paying the price. Regrettably, working with thousands of people with pain and injuries, I witnessed far too many people unknowingly embark on this roller coaster ride of rest, inadequate treatments, and eventually finding themselves back at square one. Here's what that typically looks like. As you can see, without a certain amount of stress or load on your body, your tissue capacity drops, and then pain is right around the corner. So what's the game plan here? It's simple, yet game-changing. When faced with an injury, it's wise to stay away from activities that aggravate your condition, but keep the engine running by engaging in other exercises that maintain your overall capacity. It's akin to swapping out heavy lifting for a more gentle swim. You're still actively moving, but you're granting the injured part a well-deserved break. Here's what that looks like. In this image, you can see that when you stress your body just enough, the Goldilocks principle, your capacity and function increase aka you get stronger and fitter without setbacks. Of course, sometimes there might be minor setbacks, some symptom fluctuation. For example, in my own hip recovery journey, when I was solving my hip impingement issues without surgery, there were many ups and downs. You can see the full video here, but the take home message is this. Expect some peaks and valleys, but keep mindfully striving to move upwards. With patience, you'll get there. So how much load is just right? There's no hard and fast rule for how much to rest and how much to load. One handy guide is the three out of 10 rule. Picture it like this. Zero is no pain and 10 is excruciating. According to this rule, your pain should never exceed a three out of 10 during activity or exercise. Ultimately, the best solution is to gradually become so in tune with your body that you know how to auto-regulate when to step on the gas and when to tone it down. My favorite tools for becoming more in tune with my body are a body-based meditation practice like Vipassana meditation and a daily massage, stretching, and strengthening practice, which is like checking in and having a conversation with your body every day. The more you talk to your body, the more you'll speak its language. Ultimately, the goal is to break the vicious cycle of recurring injuries in a structured progression of mobility and strength exercises tailored to your body's unique healing process becomes imperative to achieve this. Professional guidance may be necessary also to ensure an optimal recovery journey. But remember, it's not just about resting. It's about resting without withering. Feeling empowered to take control of your recovery? Head over to gotrom.com where we offer science-backed programs designed to accelerate your journey back to action. 
And if you need personalized one-on-one -on -one help to heal a stubborn or chronic injury fully, go to gotrom.com slash VIP to see if you qualify for our VIP mentorship program. So there you have it, a fresh perspective on the concept of rest. The next time Dr. Dan nonchalantly advises you to just rest, you'll know better. Rest is fine, but just be careful not to rust. So until we meet again, please remember you're just one step away from building or rebuilding your perfect body. Hello, Shane. Welcome to our extended bed rest support group. Please, please rest, sit, sit. We're here to discuss the benefits of extended bed rest. Support group for bed rest. What's this all about? Well, Shane, we believe that the key to optimal health is extended bed rest. In fact, we're all on extended bed rest ourselves. You're all on bed rest too? Absolutely, it's the key to maintaining peak physical condition. Here, take this brochure. It's called Bed Rest, the ultimate life hack. That'll be your guide for starting your own journey. But won't my muscles weaken if I'm just laying in bed all the time? Oh, Shane, that's just a myth. Bed rest is the key to unlocking your body's potential. Look at us, we've been bed resting for months. Never felt better. Ah, uh, well, this is all a bit different. I'll have to think about it. As you wish, you know where to find us, resting.